You're listening to Law in Action with me, Joshua Rosenberg. This week, the Prime Minister outlined the reforms he's seeking if the UK is to remain a member of the European Union. David Cameron says the changes Britain wants don't fall in the box marked impossible. But what if the EU decides that they are, and the UK votes to leave? What would be the legal implications of Brexit, Britain exiting the European Union? Dr Sylvia DiMars, who teaches EU law at Newcastle University, said nothing would happen overnight. The negotiating process for leaving, which wouldn't be as simple as saying I quit and walking away, would take about two years and some sort of agreement on the future relationship between the United Kingdom and the European Union would be agreed during that negotiating process. If that were done, would there be any European law left as part of the laws of the legal systems in the United Kingdom? Oh, undoubtedly. I think this is one of the aspects of EU law that is most difficult to understand from people who, unlike me, don't spend most of their time looking at it. But... Most EU law in practice actually gets changed into national law as it comes down from Brussels. And that national law would remain even if Parliament were to repeal the European Communities Act 1972? Yes, indeed, um, it would. The one thing that would change with the repeal of that act is that interpretations of those laws would no longer need to take into account European-level interpretations of the same law in question. Give me some examples of European law that has been brought into the law of the United Kingdom since 1972. I will start with the one that's most controversial and that most people in the United Kingdom are least happy with. That would be the Working Time Directive, which puts limits on how many hours people can be required to work and has changed certain definitions of what it means to be off work that have caused tremendous difficulties for the NHS over time. That would be one that I imagine would be reinterpreted immediately and probably repealed at the point of... Brexit. Because, of course, it would be open to Parliament to repeal any of these areas of European law that the United Kingdom has been required to bring into domestic law as a result of decisions in Brussels. Yes, absolutely. But they would have to be repealed one by one. So I I personally cannot imagine this happening with all pieces of law. There's plenty we might want to keep. Discrimination law, for example. One would hope. Yeah, absolutely. Things to do with discrimination law. Certain aspects of employment law have deep origins in EU law or were at least indeed um, proposed by the European Union first and then and adopted by the member states to more or lesser extents with time, a lot of things like that. And, and of course, we're not even talking about commercial law that may or may not make it easier to trade with the European member states. Well, trading is something I wanted to ask you about, because are we going to be at a disadvantage from a legal point of view, not a political point of view, if we are not signed up to the European Union and bound by the same laws? It's a particularly interesting question because it goes beyond just the EU and UK relations. What's happening at the moment is that the European Union is successfully negotiating massive free trade areas with the EU's largest trading partners. We have an agreement that is going through European parliamentary ratification or approval at the moment with Canada. And simultaneously, we are working out something with the United States, affectionately known as TTIP. Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. Indeed. And the starting point of the Canadian and U.S. trade agreements is that there will be some sort of mutual recognition of standards and the EU will not have to lower its regulatory standards, meaning that what we're going to have is effectively transatlantic application of the EU's regulatory standards in trade. So what we'd expect then is if we were to pull out of the EU there would be a new legal structure under which it would be possible for the United Kingdom to trade with EU countries on perhaps advantageous terms or not advantageous terms, but nevertheless according to a legal structure. Yes, absolutely. The UK could do whatever it wanted to, honestly, um, short of raising tariffs beyond the EU levels, which uh, under the WTO agreement would not be permissible. 
but they could lower them further than the rest of the EU, which might be advantageous. Conversely, there is the question of what would happen to those who export products to the European Union, who may or may not benefit from a changed UK regime on trade. Let's say that, as the government puts it, a lot of the European red tape is cut away, so fewer conditions and standards are applied to production and import and export. That would perhaps assist those companies that do not engage in export to Europe, but those exporters who do send their goods to Europe on a very regular basis would absolutely still need to comply with the European rules. Dr. Sylvia Dimars.